Alrighty, it's time for the last fire forming video with the 6mm arc. I have 12 pieces of brass left that need fire formed, and there's been some talk on the channel. One of my uh, subscribers, Da Hut, has run some stuff through Quick Load with Reloader 17, and seems like that's going to be a good combination. Now, there is no load data for Reloader 17 in the 6mm arc that I can find. He ran the numbers and felt like 31.0 grains would be the max, around 2800 feet per second. So what we ended up doing today is we ran the same overall length of 2.270 with the 108 ELD match and I loaded up one round at 30.0 grains and one round at 31 grains. All right, so we're gonna run a quick powder test here. Don't have a target cam up. We're not really even shooting at a target. So let's find out here. So 30 grains is first. All right, so that was actually 27.30. So that was kind of impressive, wasn't it? All right, that was 27.65. All right, so this one had a little bit of a sticky bolt. Very, very mild marks on the brass. All right, so maybe Reloader 17 is gonna work. The numbers we got from that were 30.0 grain shot 27.30 feet per second and 31 grain shot 27.65 feet per second. So pretty good numbers. We also had no pressure signs on the brass. Um, the loads were a little crunchy, especially the 31 grain load, but nothing scary. I thought we could go ahead and give it a try. So that left me with 10 more pieces that I need to fire form. So what you're going to see here is we shoot 30.1 grains and 30.4 grains. Now these are very, in my opinion, what I would consider reasonably compressed loads. 30.1 is probably just at the point of compression with 30.4 feeling a little bit of crunch. Now none of these are crazy compressed. We didn't have to uh, chase down our overall length or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get on the range and let's see if Reloader 17 and the 6mm arc will get us good velocity. Alrighty, we're out here on the range. This is my 22 inch Savage 110 switchback, one and seven and a half twist. Chambered in 6mm arc, it's mounted in an MDT XRS chassis. It's got an Athlon 6-24 Argos BTR Gen 2 optic on it. Shooting at 100 yards, getting velocity through our lab radar. The orange dots on the target are 1 inch. So, um, you guys just saw us shooting one shot at 30 grains and one shot at 31.1 grains. So I went ahead and loaded up some 5 shot groups. Excited to see how uh, velocity consistency is, even though this is fire forming, but more than anything I want to see how the groups are. So let's go ahead and uh, let's shoot that first group. All right so first load here 30.1 grains should be just above 2700 feet per second. decent looking group there. Velocity was kind of a little bit all over the place. So we had 2696 feet per second with an 18.4 SD. So not terrible. Again we are fire forming this brass so uh, all things considered not bad especially for a powder people say won't work. At those velocities pretty respectable uh, for the 108 ELD through 22 inch barrel. Pretty much what we got pretty close to what we got with uh, Reloader 15, so let's go ahead and move on up. All right, looks like a pretty good group there. Let's take a look at our velocity. All right, so the velocity on that five shot group was 2726 with an SD of 
So looking at our velocities there, we had one that messed us up. Our first shot was 2740, second one was 2697, then we had 2742, 2722, and 2727. So I think it was just that one that screwed up our SD. So we might have to do a little bit more testing with Reloader 17, but things look good so far. Let's get over and let's check out the target. Alrighty, so we're back at the bench here taking a look at the target. The first load at 30.1 grains, shot a .82. Inch five shot group, 2696 feet per second and an 18.4 SD. Second load of the day at 30.4 grain, shot a 0 0.69 inch group, 2726 feet per second and an 18.2 SD. So now I don't know if the SDs on these are bad because the loads are compressed or because of the combination, the slow powder in the six millimeter arc, but the groups look really good and our velocity average looks pretty good. Now we ended up getting faster velocity, 2726 than the loads we ended up with Reloader 15 with Hornady's max load data. Now we also had no pressure swipes, no pressure signs on the brass as you can tell there. And with Reloader 15, we had a little bit of pressure issues. So I'm not really sure why people don't feel like Reloader 17 is gonna work in the six millimeter arc. I mean, we're obviously below the max load that I shot at 31 grains um, and we got good velocity, good average. I don't see anything wrong with that. Now, I don't know if we're gonna use Reloader 17 more in the future or mess around with some of the more um, standard six millimeter arc powders, but it begs the question, will some of those other Creedmoor class powders work in the six millimeter arc? Like H4350, Stayball 6.5, and those powders. So thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed doing this experiment. A little bit sketchy, kind of veering away from all low data, but it looks like it turned out pretty good. Now we also have 57 pieces of fired six millimeter arc brass that will be ready to do some serious load development. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time.